This is such a special night, and it's a thrill to be here with all of you celebrating the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. <laughs> Walt's biggest dream was to create a fully immersive place unlike anywhere else, where characters and stories could come alive to entertain and delight guests of all ages. And in the years since the gates first opened, hundreds of millions of people have come here and experienced the magic and wonder of Disney. I want to start by thanking all of our extraordinary cast members and Imagineers, past and present, for their incredible contributions over the last 50 years. They are the heart and soul of the Walt Disney Company and the reason people call this the most magical place on earth. They create these ama amazing moments that become memories that last a lifetime. And speaking of lifetime my memories, when I was growing up in Hammond, Indiana, my family would take a vacation to Walt Disney World every year. And those trips are where I first developed a deep love and appreciation for what can only be described as Disney magic. Those trips meant so much to me, and I couldn't wait for the next chance to be transported to a world of possibilities, imagination, and fun. Looking back, though, I never could have imagined that I would someday have the opportunity to lead this extraordinary company. I am truly honored and humbled to follow in the footsteps of the Disney leaders who came before me, especially the man standing with me tonight, Bob Iger, our executive chairman. Bob literally transformed this company during his 15 years as CEO, bringing us Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, 21st Century and National Geographic, and so much more. Thanks to Bob's vision, our Imagineers have been able to bring a whole new world of storytelling and popular characters to Walt Disney World, a park across our park center of the globe. As we look to the next 50 years and beyond, I'm reminded of one of Walt's lasting legacies, one which I know Bob also takes very seriously, the responsibility that we have as storytellers to continuously reinvent the way that we all tell stories and to use technology to immerse guests deeper into the story worlds that they love so much. That infusion of cutting edge technology helps make every new experience here even more exciting and captivating, whether you're piloting the Millennium Falcon or joining Mickey, Minnie, and the gang inside your very own animated adventure. Because you're not just watching these stories, you're part of them. And because our guests are at the center of everything that we do, we're also working to ensure that every visit is as special as the ones that inspired me and my family so many years ago. Lastly, I want to thank one more group of people, and that's the guests that choose to spend their time with us here at Walt Disney World. You are the reason we do what we do, and I am honored to be part of creating magical memories for all of you. And now I'd like to turn it over to Bob and thank him once again for all that he's done for the Walt Disney Company and for the support that he's shown me personally over the years. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. A couple of Bobs up here. <laughs> and good evening. Walt Disney was a man of extraordinary vision, and while he had many bold ideas and great accomplishments, one of his boldest ideas and biggest accomplishments was buying the land that we are standing on tonight. More than 27,000 acres, and having the ambition and the vision to create something as grand and as innovative as Walt Disney World. Walt passed away before he could see it come to fruition, but his brother Roy made sure his dream was fulfilled. And I know from walking through this park countless times over the years, watching it evolve, seeing smiles on people's faces, hearing their laughter, and feeling their excitement that Walt Disney World really is what Walt and Roy hoped it would be, and much, much more. I too have many wonderful memories of the times I've spent here with my own children and grandchildren. 
meeting Mickey and Minnie on Main Street, USA, watching fireworks burst high above the spectacular castle, and I'd marvel at their delight and amazement. But the truth is, no matter how old you are, when you're here, you feel like a kid again. It really is amazing to see how much we have pushed the limits of imagination and creativity over the last 50 years, bringing new and immersive stories, attractions, and experiences to life in ways only Disney can. And we can all look forward to even more under the future leadership of Bob Chapek. Now, one thing will forever remain the same, and that is the sheer joy and sense of wonder that people feel when they come here. That is what makes this place truly special. Bob? And now it is with great enthusiasm and pride that we officially rededicate Walt Disney World. How about it? Let's Three, do it. Let's do it. two, one. <laughs>